Today, guys, we are looking at the Pinnacle Auto Rifle Breakneck. Now, a few months ago, we made a video talking about the perks and weapons that were murdered when Shadowkeep launched. Now, a lot of perks got dialed back. They were pretty much reined in. Things like Rampage, Kill Clip, Multi Kill Clip. All of those traits and perks got their damage value slashed in half. How they balanced it was the health pool of our enemies, thus giving more viability to other traits in the game. Unfortunately, though, Breakneck, with its perk Onslaught, was hit in the crossfire and was wrongfully nerfed. So much so that as the weapon gained Rampage stacks, he was actually doing less damage. And out of all the weapons that we talked about in that video, hands down, Breakneck was the one that got murdered the most until today. Bungie states right here that they fixed an issue where Onslaught would reduce damage at two times Rampage stacks despite not increasing the rate of fire. Now notice that they did not mention PVE or PVP. I think originally I looked at this and just thought, okay, that's just for PVE, right? Turns out that's not the case. Breakneck with Onslaught got a buff inside of PVP as well as PVE. Now first up, let's just do a quick refresh because I know, when was the last time you even saw a Breakneck and the perk Onslaught? Maybe you have. Maybe you've been toughing it out all season. I don't know. First up, this is a precision frame auto rifle, meaning it shoots at 450 rounds per minute. The weapon's more vertical. Its barrel perk is polygonal rifling for that increase in stability. Extended mag for that increase in magazine size all the way up to 40. And the first trait here is Rampage. Kills with this weapon temporarily grant increased damage, stacks up to three times. Just a normal Rampage perk, right? Not really. Because the final trait is what makes Breakneck a pinnacle. And my God, I miss reviewing pinnacles so much. These weapons were so much fun. I look forward to pinnacles more than I did exotics because the final trait right here is so special. Onslaught. The weapon's rate of fire increases as you stack Rampage. Yeah, pretty crazy. And if you rock something like a Rampage spec, you can hang on to that Rampage stack for an extra second for a whopping four and a half seconds, which may not seem that long to you, but it's actually pretty good for both PVE and for PVP. Now, before we get into damage values, let's just talk about that rate of fire. So the weapon shoots at 450 rounds per minute, but then at one stack of Rampage, that increases to 600 rounds per minute. At three stacks, it still stays at 600 rounds per minute, but it's supposed to make up for it by increasing the damage. And at three stacks, the weapon ramps up to a whopping 720 rounds per minute. Now, the reason why this was an issue inside of PVE, at one stack of Rampage, you were doing negative 1% damage. Not that big of an issue considering that you have an increase there in rate of fire. So obviously the damage per second is going up. Where the biggest problem occurred is from one stack of Rampage to two stacks, we actually did less damage at negative 2%, but the rate of fire still stayed the same. It was still 600 rounds per minute, but for some reason it was doing less damage. And even though three stacks of Rampage might look bad there at negative 4%, it really wasn't that bad because the rate of fire there increased to 720. Now in this sandbox in 2.7.1, the weapon stacks accordingly, as in, it actually remains the same, just about. From its base default rate of fire to Rampage times one, it increases 10% from Rampage times one to Rampage times two, but it actually drops more so than it did in the previous sandbox from Rampage times two to Rampage times three by a whopping negative 15%. Now don't be too alarmed here. What actually happened here and the reason why this looks like a big drop is simply because Rampage times two is actually giving us a buff there in damage, whereas before it was just a downward slope with each consecutive Rampage stack. So yes, guys, the gun is doing more damage inside of PVE, more so than what it was doing before. And as you can see from the gameplay, it definitely shreds, man. It's putting in work, boys. Now, DPS-wise, I actually collected damage values pre-Shadow Keep inside of PVE in comparison to post-Shadow Keep right now in Sandbox 2.7.1. This was actually pretty interesting. The DPS originally increased by 45% with one stack of Rampage, 60 61% with two stacks of Rampage and a whopping 129% at three stacks of Rampage. Now granted, there's been a lot of things that's occurred since then. The rebalancing of like precision modifiers, completely changing like health pools of all of our enemies. So these next numbers reflecting our current DPS in the sandbox, don't let it alarm you. But essentially one stack of Rampage increases our DPS by 33%. Two stacks increase it by 46%. Three stacks only increase it by 49%. Now granted, no, it's not as good as the previous sandbox, but like I said, 
a lot of things have changed. The main thing to take away from this one, what's concerning is how little the jump is there in DPS from two stacks of Rampage to three stacks. To me, I feel like this is actually showcasing that that negative 15% there in damage that we receive may not actually be the correct value. To me, I feel like that's a little too steep. Like I know that increase in rate of fire from 600 to 720 is substantial and it's nice, but at the same time, considering that this is a pinnacle weapon and I'm like hanging on to all of these pinnacles, trying to keep them somewhat strong, this seemed a little too steep to me. Now inside of PVP, this one was very interesting. I was not expecting this. I will mention that the damage values that I'm gonna show you might have some rounding in it and the game has been so buggy today considering that the game was pretty much shut down all day yesterday but after recording some of the damage values inside of pvp we noticed that the buff was also applicable inside of crucible so previously and it's been a minute since i used it inside of crucible so if it was actually hitting these damage values post shadow keep before sandbox 2.7.1 forgive me but i don't think it was these are actually old damage values and breakneck being a 450 round per minute auto rifle inside of crucible hits 26 per crit and 18 per body and at 450 rounds per minute it has a 0.93 second time to kill at six crits and two body. Now, one stack of Rampage, this dropped down pretty substantially to 24 per crit and 16 per body. Where it made up for it was, of course, that increase there in rate of fire to 600 rounds per minute, which actually dropped our time to kill value there to 0.7 seconds. Now, two stacks of Rampage, this jumped back up to 27 per crit and 18 per body, still remained at 600 rounds per minute, but brought a level of forgiveness requiring only six crits and two body versus the eight crits at one stack. But of course, still keeping that same time to kill value. Now, three stacks of Rampage. Everything stayed the same. 27 per crit, 18 per body. 720 rounds per minute, though, was the big game changer. It still had the same forgiveness that two stacks of Rampage had at six crits into body, but substantially dropped that TTK value to 0.58 seconds. Now, today, from my experience, these were the damage values that I saw. First up, weapon still shoots the same, still hits the same at 450, 26 per crit, and 18 per body. Still requires six crits and two body. Now, one stack of Rampage, this increases the rate of fire to 600 rounds per minute, but the crit damage value actually stays the same. It doesn't drop from 26 to 24. Instead, it stays at 26, but drops the body shot damage by just one to 17 per body. This actually results in our time to kill value dropping to 0.7 seconds, but adds a little bit of forgiveness there at seven crits in one body. Now, two stacks of Rampage. This is when the buff really starts to get noticeable at 28 per crit and 19 per body. And shooting at 600 rounds per minute, we're now able to reach a time to kill value of 0.6 seconds at seven crits. Now, this is where I start to realize that there is something wrong, at least whether it's my damage values that I'm recording, or maybe the game's just being somewhat buggy right now. At three stacks of Rampage inside of Crucible though, notice that our damage here drops to 24 per crit and 16 per body. Now granted, it is shooting at 720 rounds per minute and you're still able to reach that 0.58 second time to kill value, but it doesn't have the added forgiveness that it had in the previous sandbox as now it's gonna require you to hit eight crits. That is kind of whatever. I'm not really getting hung up on the TTK values or how many crits it takes. What I'm getting hung up on is that the same as it was inside of PVE, inside of PVP, three stacks of Rampage here with Onslaught is substantially dropping our damage there, which is just not sitting right with me, guys. I just don't think that's the correct damage values. I feel like there's something buggy with Onslaught. Maybe it's intentional. Maybe Bungie's really trying to make sure Rampage time three with Onslaught doesn't break the game. But by no means do I feel like Breakneck is breaking the game. I'm very much pleased with Onslaught and Rampage times one and Rampage times two. That's great. And even in their patch notes today, they specifically outlined that they wanted to just tackle Rampage times one to Rampage times two. They did not mention Rampage times three, but I do think that they unintentionally dropped the damage there of Rampage times three, because that shouldn't be the case especially inside of PvP. That damage value should be the same as Rampage times two, or in the least, it should be the same as Rampage times three from the previous sandbox if they didn't even touch it. But it's obvious that they touched it in some way, whether intentional or not. So overall, guys, that is breakneck. I feel like it still has to be ironed out in some ways. Currently right now, though, on the front end of the weapon, it's performing great. I very much enjoyed it. It's definitely a stronger powerhouse inside of PvE. And when it comes to just shredding multiple ads at a time, break neck especially when you combine it with something like actium war rig is one of the best at it well fellas and ladies thank you all for coming and watching and as always slap that like button like your mama told you right